Selamat sore! Good afternoon guys! Kenneth here with another video and today, just as usual day, you know, I go out to the comments. Usually I don't do that, but like, anyway. <laughs> Uh, I went to the comments of my past videos and then I saw that one of you told me that the update method for this 8-bit2 wireless adapter has changed. I made that video almost one year ago. I know how time flies so fast. So I went to the website and then I look around the website and turns out that the update method has changed. And here in this video, I'm going to show you how to update to the newest one. So without further ado, Let's go to the website itself. So here's the website. Uh, we don't have to do anything here. We're going to just go straight to support page. And the last time we want to update the firmware is right here on the firmware section of the website, right? As you can see, there's uh, two new firmwares, firmware 1.18 and 1.22. But then if you download either one of these, you'll only get the Windows version. And it's not told here where to get the Mac OS version. So what you're gonna do is you have to go to tools and then you use this firmware updater over here. So this is what you will use to update your 8-bit2 wireless adapter. Okay, so the download is finished. Uh, we're gonna just open it straight and uh, okay. And we have this application here. This is the Chinese for applications. You don't uh, you can drag it into your applications if you, you know, have a couple of 8-bit2 controllers or whatnot and then you use this application often, but I don't. So let me just copy it to the desktop and after I use it, I'll delete it and uh, get rid of it, you know. Okay, so let's open this app. Okay, so here is the tricky part. When you're plugging in the wireless adapter to your computer, make sure you don't plug in uh directly like if you plug in directly this will appear so nothing will happen and you you might see this as a broken application but actually when you want to update this wireless adapter you have to hold the button located there so you hold the button and then you plug the wireless adapter to your computer while holding the button so let's do that and then this should appear on the software. Also note that the LED color in your wireless adapter will show up green. That means you're connecting it with the firmware update mode, something like that. So we're gonna scroll down to USB adapter. Be careful not to select this PS Classic, it's not yours. We're gonna click on USB adapter. And you can see here there are two firmware updates that I can update to. There's also lock buttons here to show what are the changes. Anyway, I'll let you read the rest of them by yourself. And now I'm just gonna show you how to update it. Let's go to update and click this button. So uh, yeah, we just wait. Okay, so the update has just finished. It only took like one or two minutes and I think it's a success. So uh, yeah, it's, after the update has finished, it automatically disconnects and resets itself into the normal mode. So the LED light on the device itself is not green anymore. And to do a quick recheck, we're just I'm just gonna go unplug it and re-plug it in while holding the button. And we can see for the USB adapter that I'm on the latest firmware. Okay. Okay. Okay, after fiddling for a while, I've been trying to check whether I have been updated or not. Let's see what will happen if I click under update here. Okay. Yeah, so the thing is, if you have updated, uh, if you want to update one more time when you click the button it will not work so this means that you have updated your wireless adapter successfully congratulations so this is the tutorial the updated tutorial on how to update your 8-bit2 wireless adapter and uh, it's been working really well for me uh, i mostly use it for playing switch games with my ps4 controller but then yeah um i really hope this helps 
So please leave a thumbs up if you like it or if you bought Pokemon Eevee like me and thumbs down if you don't feel like it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the comments down below for any questions. And I'm Kenneth, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.